पता नहीं Okay. Uh, so hello everyone the neat tg 2023 results have been out so we have uh, another success story with a struggle story to be shared with each one of you and here we have dr rupesh who's got an incredible rank all india rank 3 in neat tg 23 and he's from aims bhubneshwar so let's have some insights and inputs uh, on how to prepare for neat tg and how to overcome the failures and struggles while we're preparing for the same so first of all heart his congratulations dr rupesh uh thank you so much ma'am uh, it's been a pleasure being with on this platform it feels really great quite overwhelmed at the response like people have been showing a lot of love like people on instagram like they have been wishing me luck so feel so really great ma'am after such a long time yeah amazing so we we are equally super happy for you and super proud of you and just if you could tell us your uh, score uh, dr rupesh ma'am i got uh, 721 marks in this nip yes, and and if you could also tell us your last grand test score itna hi milta tha aise kam milta tha okay. Ma'am, last was very bad. Then uh, I got around five uh, hundred rank. Yeah. Okay. उससे पहले I used to get fifty rank, but I got too overconfident and like I attempted the paper into uh, two and a half hours. So that really like blew me away. That if I don't pay attention to the questions I'm attempting, then I might lose my rank also. So that was a low that. i really needed like before the exam ki you have to be really focused in the exam otherwise you'll lose your rank so, so was it that really helped something which shattered your confidence also ya disheartening tha ki are nahi ho raha hai did you get that feeling ha uh, yes ma'am ha yes ma'am definitely ek bar laga tha but i knew ki ye uh, mistakes that i'm making are these are all blunders only because i'm not paying attention to the question so once i start doing that i'll be able to answer all these stuff so wo confidence tha but uh, ek heart breaking to definitely tha ma'am कि यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग सो वेल और आखिरी में आके आपका पांच सौ रैंक आ रहा है तो दैट रियली ब्लोज योर कॉन्फिडेंस अवे सो बट कम बैक अच्छा हुआ मैं नाइस सो वर यू एक्सपेक्टिंग दिस रैंक कि हां भाई टॉप 5 में आ जाएगा और दिस केम एज इन सरप्राइज अह मैम नहीं एक्सपेक्ट किया था बिकॉज़ मैं रिकॉल वीडियो देखा था और ऑनेस्टली बताऊं मैंने आपका रिकॉल वीडियो एटलीस्ट 8 टू 10 टाइम्स देखा रहेगा कि सीधा हर बार कुछ बोल रहा है हाँ सो डबली श्योर ट्रिपली श्योर होने के लिए सो आई वॉज गेटिंग अराउंड लाइक फिफ्टीन में आई वॉज श्योर कि फिफ्टीन गलत हो जाएंगे बट एटीन uh, का मेरे को लगा था कि एटीन भी हो सकते हैं क्योंकि कुछ रिकॉल्स होते हैं वो गलत भी थे मैम नो कोचिंग किसी ने सही नहीं बताया कुछ कुछ क्वेश्चन का जो कि सबने गलत किया है मैम सो so, उनमें मैं श्योर था बट मेरा वो सही है जैसे कि फाइलेरिया uh, एंटीजन का जो था वो लिस्मेनिया का केस था एक्चुअली तो उसने सबने गलत किया है उसको तो मैं मेरे को लगा था कि नहीं वो ठीक होगा मेरा बट स्टिल आई वाज एक्सपेक्टिंग कि 700 के राउंड मार्क्स आएगा एंड एटलीस्ट 100 में तो आ ही जाना चाहिए ऐसा लग रहा था और जब रिजल्ट आया तो व्हेन आई वाज पुटिंग माय रोल नंबर आई टोल्ड टू माय फादर कि आई माइट गेट अंडर 1000 रैंक आल्सो सो प्लीज बी प्रिपेयर्ड कि 500 600 भी आ जाएगा तो यू शुड बी प्रिपेयर्ड या देन आई सो माय तो इट वाज 721 मार्क्स तो काफी अच्छा लगा मैम मैं रैंक से ज्यादा मार्क्स देख के अच्छा लगा कि आई वाज राइट इन अ लॉट ऑफ दीस थिंग्स कि हां सो यू आर वन ऑफ दोस फ्यू स्टूडेंट्स हु वुड से दैट कि रिकॉल से ज्यादा मार्क्स आए मेरे को हां डेफिनेटली मैम हां रिकॉल में काफी गलत थे मैम बिकॉज़ देयर वर मेनी ट्रिकी क्वेश्चंस ओके सो हम मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स दे वुड हैव मिस दोस थिंग्स इवन आई हैव मिस्ड कि एसडीएच काफी ब्लंडर्स मैंने भी किए हैं बट एटलीस्ट सब में इतना ब्लंडर नहीं किया था so I knew कि हाँ वो questions मेरे सही हैं कि तो वो confidence था एक uh, but still मैं एक डर लगता है before the result तो वो तो रहता है थोड़ा correct 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 uh, right so uh, so this was your first attempt is it no ma'am it was my second attempt uh, need please yeah okay and so what rank did you get in the first attempt uh, I got twenty eight hundred ma'am twenty eight hundred nineteen I guess Okay, so twenty eight hundred ninety, but to, that was also you were not satisfied with that. So what are you planning to pursue basically? Uh, I want to pursue radiology, ma'am. Oh, is it? अच्छा लगता है. हाँ. Apart from chill branch, है करके मुझे अच्छा लगता है. Even during my internship, I went all fifteen days. So I used to really like radiology. Maybe people call it boring, है थोड़ा black and white है, but still, it's for the love of the subject, ma'am. थोड़ा अलग है. it's not what you usually study in your mbbs so dekhte hain 
So where are you planning to take it up? Which is your dream college? Ma'am, don't know ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, see, we ma'am, see, anything will do. Okay, okay. I mean, that's like, you can get there, you will get there. That's the case. Hai. So, that, that's good. I don't know. In the last I said, there was no seat for you are in Ames, Delhi. So, I was like, what is the advantage of studying? So, that was bad. So, now, maybe I'll get a seat. Ah. Uh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I think I'll get. Okay, definitely. Okay, so, uh, so, Rupesh, um, uh, you know, are you a person who believes a lot in like MCQ practice versus notes? What do you think is more important? Uh, ma'am, I believe in making mistakes, ma'am. Uh, you read your notes, you practice MCQs, you will make mistakes, you learn better. Because your mistakes will teach you more than anything else, ma'am. That's the thing. Because they, those mistakes will stick with you, ma'am, forever. I have done wrong in the GT. So I think MCQ practice is important, but having a good notes is important, ma'am. Definitely. You can't escape the notes and all. Basic stuff, so you should know. So to I mean, be confident. Otherwise, if you are planning to like 140, 150, tak, you will easily be able to score. If you have a basic MCQ practice previous year, karke, you can easily score. But after that, when questions get tricky, to thoda sa, your basis should be strong enough. Yeah. Okay. Like, so do you believe in like prospective reading or retrospective? Ki bhai pehle PYQs dekho, understand the topics and focus only on those? Ya pure pure notes padho from first page to last page and then do the MCQs? Ma'am, uh, I had a good enough base, I guess, that I had basic pata the, so I PYQs, I did not do any PYQs, it was easy, it was not hard, so I knew that I had notes, so I was notes the notes, but in GTs, mein, I used to focus really nicely, that I was doing wrong, so suppose I'm getting, kuch, uh, I'm scoring badly in anesthesia, for example, so I'll read anesthesia, that I was wrong, that I was wrong, Days hota hai, mein kitne din pehle band karna hai, maybe CO fluor and wo bakwas chijein. So, <laughs> unko mein fir se tha. So, retrospective hota tha, based on GT vagera ki haan mein kahan pe yaad hai ki nahi hai. PYQs are neat ke PYQs are easy only ma'am. They are not that hard. Like, if you are thorough with your notes and all, so you can easily correct them. Uh, but having an idea ki examiner kya puchna chata hai, that is very important ma'am. Especially for this exam. Uh, like in last paper, there was a question on UNICEF, like the seeds and all. That was very, very weird question, but that was from Parks only. So I knew that they are giving from Parks, so maybe I'll read that one chapter from Parks. So I read that one chapter and suddenly the Columbo Action Plan came up. That was from directly from Parks only. So I really felt good in that. So uh, likewise, the water, air, wala, you, you should have a good concept in that because NEXT is coming. So maybe for that also. Uh, if they are focusing more on the final year subject, so these standard books they become very important. But you should have a concise notes also. That's what. So did you make your own notes? Uh, like, did you believe in that? Uh, no, ma'am. No. Ma'am, first of all, <laughs> no, ma'am. My handwriting was very poor, so I made. I used to go to an offline coaching, so I used to. Huh, I used to make my own notes, but those weren't from your standard notebooks. So my first was ki I will go to a coaching. I will understand the concept. Then to add on to that, when like I was in final year, I used a recent like app. Uh, I used to uh, search like uh, mitral stenosis I'm reading. So I'll just quickly scroll through uh, mitral stenosis on Harrison's. So likewise, I used to study like I'll have my notes. So I know my basics are good enough. I know the murmurs and all and everything I know. But if there is something extra that is written in Harrison, so it used to be retrospective. And then I'll add it to my notes if I find it like really important. So my coaching notes were my base and I add it to it using these, my maybe Bailey, maybe Harrison and all. But that was a very little portion of what I've read. Yeah. All right. And uh, so, so you learned a lot out of your grand test and the mistakes that you made. So what was your strategy for reviewing the grand test? Uh, Ma'am, initially I used to review it fully, like, 200, when I was getting 120, 130, 140 correct, there was a time when I used to, I was a backbencher, so uh, uh, 120, 130, 140 correct, so I used to review the whole paper, uh, because sometimes uh, you get questions right by fluke also, like you don't know the answer to it, but just by luck also, you attempt something and you get it right, so 
it's better to review it fully. So, but when you get to like 150, 160, 170, you can just uh, maybe see the wrong ones and maybe do a retrospective study. So okay. that depends on your stage. Yeah. So did you review the grant card like the same day or you divided it kichalo, over the week? Thoda, thoda karte review? No, ma'am. Same day. Same day only. I used to do this. Same day. I'll go through my wrong questions and the right questions. Same day. Because you you will start studying some other subject then you'll forget stuff. So it's better to do it on the same day. But if if you have a strategy like you can do it over a week, then you can do that also. That's not important, so I guess. Timeline, you know, uh, 200 questions, hai, chalo, question ko do minute, five minute, uh, no. Did you ever practice that sort of time boxing sort of thing? No, no. Uh, one thing, uh, neat ka paper is very straightforward. If you can find the tricks, you will get the answer even less than one minute. So need you have a buffer time. So like the 30 minutes ka buffer that you get. So that is really good. But in any set, I guess you need to practice a lot of time management because that thing really hurts because you have 180 minutes and you have to solve 200 questions. So that 20 minutes ka gap, you have to cover it throughout your uh, paper. So time management is much more difficult in any set compared to need PG. Need PG may if you are focusing enough and maybe just reviewing uh, stuff uh, will hardly take last if 10 to 15 minutes, then it's okay, ma'am. You can finish the paper easily. Time management should not be an issue in need PG as much as it is in finance. Okay. So how many questions yeah. did you attempt? Um, I attempted 199, ma'am. 199, which was that one question which you did not attempt. Uh, ma'am, that question also I knew, but I was scared <laughs> to attempt. Ma'am, autosomal dominant pathology, and like two thirds are correct. Huh? I knew a range, like I knew 70%, 60-70%, to but uh, still I thought pura hi theoretical hai and gut feeling aara tha, but I chose to skip. Okay. Yeah, chod dete, yeah. So 199 attempt kiya, to based on your score, kitna right hai basically out of 199? Uh, Ma'am, I have got 15 wrong and one I left, so uh, okay. 721 marks. Okay, yeah. nice, nice. Um, and so have you given INICT also before? Uh, yes, ma'am, I gave November while I initiated. it. November INICT, what was your rank in that? Ma'am, 505, I guess. I don't remember the exact time. 510, 15, I get that. that, that that's uh, a good rank. And so I'm pretty sure you're preparing for the next INICT also, the May INICT. Or you will just... I'm not sure, ma'am. I'm not sure, ma'am. It's really tricky exam. Like I can't stand the time pressure. Like I all always I like mess up in something. I'll get stuck with some question and I'll end up wasting two three minutes and the time management will be messed up. So I I think it's a risky business in ICT. So you have to be really conscious of about your time. Time is money in any set, ma'am, because you have to get around one sixty correct hmm. to be a topper. Uh, so you can understand. So your prime objective is, should be to like finish off, just see uh, all the 200 questions once and not to get stuck in one. So uh, that happened so in November. I finish the INICT <laughs> exam because your counseling is not starting anytime soon. So uske the uh, yes. result bhi and everything would be clear. So you don't have anything yes. at stake. Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I really feel confident now. Like I feel really much more confident that we to do this. PYQs, mein, last time I got many of my PYQs wrong, like I got around 13, 14 PYQs wrong. So I could not sleep for like two, three days. So that was the low that I was talking about. Ki, uh, messing up in PYQs is one thing you cannot afford to do in any set. So, but I did and that was really bad, man. So I hope that June, July in set will be a much more easier exam. And it was... So how many I years of papers are you trying to focus? Like you've given the previous INICT. So how many years INICT papers should be solved, you think? Uh, Ma'am, five years at least, I will say. Five years at least you should do. Then uh, 15, 16, 14, 11, 12, you can go as much as you can. But I don't think there will be many questions from that. So five years at least you should do. And... Uh, yeah, that's enough. Then focus your, on your notes and focus on your time management because that's the most crucial part in any set. Mm -hmm. Because what you do on the day of exam is really important because I can confidently say uh, top 200, 300, 400 people, they have similar knowledge, but it's their performance on the exam day that really matters. Like uh, how they are able to cope up with the pressure of the exam and 
um, how they are managing their time that's very crucial in in his exam mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. maybe i'll focus on that thing and okay. so someone who is starting to for the neat pg exam yes ma'am do you feel the anxiety before the neat pg exam no ma'am no it was there it was there but uh, i thought ki ha kya hi ho jayega kitna hi hard aayega dekh lenge it will answer will be in front of me only so if i read the question properly i'll be able to solve it because not necessarily everything will be from your notes only but definitely it will be from the those four options right so you have to be really conscious ki ha kaun sa choose karna hai kya choose karna hai so wo acha laga ma'am ki i went with a very clear mind ki ha kuch bhi aa sakta hai and i should be really open to anything so there were topics that i marked that i had never read like there was a question on lymphocytic carditis <laughs> everyone was saying it's acute rheumatic fever but i can surely say it was a lymphocytic carditis i read it i saw the lymphocytes and i marked it i had never read the topic before uh, likewise there were many topics that uh, were completely out of blue but still i had uh, ruling out is really important in an eight pg ma'am so if you are confident in your ruling out skills then you can easily crack the neat page i don't think it's that hard as compared to easy mm-hmm. yeah that's great so i think you've done some very very smart work in the examination hall and that's possible only when you have yeah. a clear mind and a calm mind uh, so that's uh, one important lesson uh, that i personally learned from you and uh, that was superb uh, interacting with you uh, and learning a lot of things uh, dr rupesh so thank you so much for giving those insights and happy congratulations uh, once again thank you so much it was thank wonderful you. talking Thank same you. here same here thank you are yaar 